I, uh, I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. <laughs> so I've got a uh, whistling album coming out in a couple weeks. It's about what it sounds like, just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells the night before Christmas. Where'd the cookies go? Smells like Dad's been down here. Who put so many logs on the fire? Why does he have to drink so much? Be quiet, I hear him. Get behind the sofa, he'll see you. Who's he yelling at? Oh my God, what has happened? Stop saying that and get behind the sofa. He's staring right at you. How doesn't he see you? With classics like it under the porch, I hear his truck coming up the driveway. Please eat it, he'll just get more mad if you don't. And it's not a ghost in the closet, it's just dad. That is the racist zebra. <laughs> I, uh, I got high the other day um, and thought blood was coming out of my ears. It was. <laughs> so I'm almost finished with a screenplay for a movie I've been working on called World War II, A Survivor's Tale, but it's spelled T-A-I-L. And it's about a family of squirrels living in a tree in the middle of Berlin during World War II. It's based off the poem by Shel Silverstein. Uh, basically, Larry, the father of the squirrel family, begins getting suspicious when Hitler starts rounding up all the Jews. <laughs> Patricia, the mother of the squirrel family, knows something's wrong, but Hitler's got some pretty good plans for Germany, so she's on board. Basically, it's the struggle of Larry and Patricia's marriage while also witnessing the transformation of Berlin during World War II from the perspective of a squirrel family up in a tree. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor Thomas makes his theatrical return as Oscar, the older brother of the squirrel family. <laughs> Critics are hailing it as a sublime combination of Five All Goes West meet Schindler's List. I must see. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a movie I just finished. It's about an American code breaker that goes down to Jamaica to crack the biggest code Jamaica's ever seen. <laughs> and in the middle of him cracking the code, there's a tap on his shoulder, and he turns around, and it's a Jamaican man. He's like, The code breaker! You cracking a code with me? So I've been uh, playing a bunch of Monopoly uh, recently. <laughs> and I'll be quite frank, uh, if after the first go round I don't land on Ventnor Avenue, I'm going to fucking lose it! Uh, if someone ever tries to sell you ecstasy on boardwalk, don't do it. It's a cop. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to get the realtor in here. I'm pretty sure there's a poltergeist living with us. It's my strongest joke. It's scary you did not laugh at that. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm single. I'm holding out for a black or an oriental. I don't know if y'all have ever gone to a, uh, a movie at the movie theater before and someone starts coughing real loud. Fucking get him out of there! I'm sick and tired of it! Just going to see the movie Twister with my aunt and somebody starts coughing real loud. <laughs> uh, my apartment has this complex...
Uh, this is an impression of my buddy uh, with a foot fetish whenever he comes over to my house. Um, dude, just take off your fucking socks. <laughs> so I have a, uh, a movie coming out in a couple weeks. It's called, Where Are My Fucking Keys? <laughs> Uh, so I was uh, recently diagnosed with a disease called turtle dysmorphia. Uh, I knew I had it when I was in the bathroom, and I saw my reflection, and it was just a turtle's head. So I've been playing a bunch of the board game uh, Guess Who recently, and weirdly enough, I've discovered the two best questions to ask or what's your AOL password, and is your aunt black? <laughs> pie right, pie wrong, it's gypsum. <laughs> Sorry, I thought y'all uh, were geology majors. Uh, who's winning the game? God damn it! As an impression of my father whenever we watch sports at my house. He's a horrible gambler. So uh, I had to stop doing cocaine with uh, Ja Rule because every time we do it, he wouldn't stop saying, Holla, holla. I'd be like, Ja Rule, we're at the Applebee's bathroom. Are you sure? going to do it. Keep it down, man. And he'd be like, holla, holla. <laughs> Y'all might recognize me. I was in the uh, penultimate uh, recollection of the movie Jaws. I'm talking about Jaws the Revenge. I was the sailor in that. I had a couple of uh, big quotes in that. Yeah, let me give you all one of my quotes. Hold on, Steven, get off the back of the truck! <laughs> Where's Steven? Where's the shark? So I'm uh, working on a movie where I get into bar fights in Japan. It's called Crouching Tiger Hidden Pool Cue. <laughs> I'd like to give y'all just a little taste of that. Hold on, Yoshi, where's my pool cue? <laughs> I'm about to fight someone. Let's give it up for Tony Chin. I've been, uh, I've been looking for him. Um, he's out of the sewer system. Shut the fuck up. I got a lot riding on this. Shut it down. I apologize if I seem off. I'm on a bunch of embalming fluid right now. <laughs> It's a huge nightmare. I'm having a real bad time. Uh, you're in for a treat. This is probably one of my best jokes. I wrote it this past week. Um, hold on. So is that a Hewlett Packard or Adele? <laughs> I don't know how to finish it. My, uh, my brother's been having a sexual relationship with his teacher. Uh, the weird thing is we're homeschooled. I'd like to uh, <laughs> do a cut scene from that, just MIA paper planes playing, and I bust through the door, just like, Vance, that's our mom! <laughs> How's it going? My name is William Montgomery, and I'm running for county alderman. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I think I realized I wanted to be a politician the day my grandfather went overboard on a boat. We were on. I couldn't save him. Damned if I didn't try. He was out in the waves for probably 30 minutes. I just couldn't reach him. My arms weren't long enough. But what I can promise you people tonight, if y'all elect me to county alderman, 
Your arms might not be long enough, but by God, mine will be! Uh, this is an impression of my father during all of my third grade soccer games. Oh, I see that. That's good. Y'all, that's how I opened up for Cat Williams two years ago. Don't be alarmed at the color of my skin. I'm not going to be robbing any of y'all tonight. That's not a black joke. It's a Filipino joke. I don't know if y'all have ever been to the Philippines before. It's a nightmare. So I'm a uh, pretty big boobs guy. Uh, whenever I'm on my calculator, I'm spelling out boobs. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been going to the airport a lot lately, not flying on planes, but stealing people's shit. Uh, you're going to Jacksonville. Your bag's not. You're flying in Russia. I've heard bad things about the airspace. Your bag's not following you. So uh, my dad's been telling everyone he teaches self-defense classes. And every time I'm just like, Dan, it's just me, you, and Mom wrestling around up in y'all's fucking room. Quit getting me in those holds. That's my best joke. It scares me. Y'all didn't laugh at that. Um, so uh, everything's been going pretty good in my life recently, other than my addiction to whippets. I don't know what to do with all the canisters. I don't. I don't know what to do. Um, so I uh, I just got accepted into Devry's psychic program. Uh, I knew I would. I'm a fucking psychic. Uh, just not that good at it. <laughs> in case y'all were wondering, I did, in fact, get the job at Supercuts this past week. <laughs> Let's give it up for Pat Martinez. That is a female. She gave me the job. I only uh, go to the psychics who can tell me my past. Hey, William, just say hi to people this time. That's an impression of my mother whenever we're at the grocery store. Uh, if I end up having a daughter, I want her to get involved in beauty pageants. I feel like the best age, age group for that is three to five. That's where you can really sort of put, it, put on the makeup how you like. You can really dress them up how you like. Um, they don't ask if it's Pantene Pro-V you're putting in their hair, uh, even though it's white rain coconut. <laughs> Watch it, kid! <laughs> That's my impression of the taxi driver in Home Alone 2. What? No, but seriously, I uh, have been snorting a bunch of catnip recently. Don't worry, I have a hold on it. <laughs> I wrote that five years ago. That allowed me to open up for Cat Stevens, the... <laughs> Guitar player, father and son, will be played during my funeral. So I've been having a bunch of cat parties recently. I, I take acid and round up all the neighborhood cats up into my apartment. Um, just looking at them, wondering who they are. Uh, I'd like to give you maybe a little cut scene of that. Uh, Are you going to do the... Is there more to that? Oh, hello, sir. Are you a cat? Oh, he is. Oh, dear. 
That's what you're like at the cat party? Cat party. Uh, not a lot of people know this about me, but when I was a junior in high school, I stole my grandmother B. Vance's purple Ford Taurus. I was going 80 miles an hour uh, through a thoroughfare, slammed into a guy, killed him, spent eight years out of a 20-year prison sentence. Uh, got involved in the scared strip. Got involved in the scared straight program. Turned a lot of lives around. I uh, I just discovered you're not uh, not supposed to keep your toothpaste in the refrigerator. What the fuck am I supposed to do? So uh, the other day, my roommate came home early from work. She works at a factory. She caught me kissing her cat. His name is Aladdin. He's a tabby. I didn't care. I have two weeks left. But seriously, I've I've been up for five days on Zantac 75. I have really bad acid reflux. Uh, Seriously, I'm from La Jolla. I've been working at a wood fire pizza place. It's called Pizza Hut. (laughs) Not a lot of people know this about me, but my uncle is Richard Dracula. He is a part of the Monopoly uh, sort of ring of games. I don't know if y'all are familiar with Ventnor Avenue, but can I get a little love? Sometimes when I'm in a dark room, I'll wonder if my eyes are open or closed, and then I'll blink. So I have a movie coming out in a couple weeks called High Tides, The Other Dracula Story. Uh, Los Angeles police officer Jack angers retired bomb squad member Howard Payne by failing his attempts at taking hostages. In revenge, Howard Payne arms a bus that will explode if it goes under 50 miles per hour. With the help of spunky passenger Annie and his buddy Harry, They try to make it so the bus doesn't get below 50 miles per hour while also with while also trying to figure out how Howard Payne is monitoring them. Hey Red Man, have you been working out or are those shoulder pads? Uh, Yeah, they're shoulder pads. I took them from your mom last night. Whoa! My mom died two years ago in a haunted house. (laughs) So, uh, uh, today was Columbus Day. I'm glad they changed it to National Filipino Day. Finally, a holiday for my people. I would like to give it up for my uncle, Richard Chwebus. He is uh, my Filipino uncle. He runs Chwebus.com. It's a lot like iTunes, uh, but only Lou Vega songs. Did y'all hear about that guy down in Florida who swallowed the sinkhole? (coughs) Just kidding, it's the other way around. (laughs) So I have a whistling album coming out in a couple weeks. This is not a one-liner. It's about what it sounds like. Just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells. The Night Before Christmas. Where'd the cookies go? Smells like Dad's been down here. Who put so many logs on the fire? What the fuck, dude? Why does he have to drink so... Red Man, stop! No, you stop, man. Why does he have to drink so much? Let me hear y'all make some noise if you ever faked your own death. (laughs) To try to see how your dog would react. (laughs) And your dog ends up just trying to eat you. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have told that joke. Um, Oh, my God. Here he is, live in the flesh. Oh, this guy's leaving. He hates him. Oh, my God. Come on, make some noise. Who the fuck is that? (laughs) 
Uh, there's no I in time work. That is the illiterate guy that works at a clock shop. <laughs> Yikes. So uh, uh, there's gravity in here, right? That is the dice shooting gambler when he ends up in space. <laughs> San Francisco, if I end up jumping off a bridge, it's going to be from the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> January 28, 1986, my uncle Ralph Martinez blew up on the Challenger shuttle. I was driving down the road the other day and saw a license plate uh, that said PVTI on it. And I drove up to the guy and I was like, what are you, a private eye? And he was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so my uncle bought me some Sammy Sosa cereal last night. I ate it and woke up black. Where the fuck is Tony Chin? <laughs> I'm tired of being big and black. You know what I mean? <laughs> I try to walk down the hallway and my knee hits the table. So I've been uh, trying to sleep a bunch recently. I don't really talk to a bunch of girls uh, when I'm awake, but when I'm asleep, I'm running game. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure the best uh, shark weeks were between 93 and 97. A uh, whole lot of chum, a whole lot of boats, a whole lot of cameras, those feeding frenzies. That was my best joke of tonight. I thought that was going to get the biggest laugh. It scares me. It did not. It's Veterans Day. My father died on Veterans Day two years ago. So uh, after last week, after my uh, Shark Week joke, my life has really changed. I was on $100,000 pyramid. I was On Jeopardy, I was on, you name it, I was on it. I'm opening up next week for not only Cat Williams, but Cat Stevens. <laughs> so I've been researching wormholes lately. Uh, I have a bunch of them in my backyard. <laughs> I'm excited to be here tonight with Andrew Santino. He's my uh, half-brother. We're both from a deep water port in Maine. We both got herpes together three years ago. <laughs> Want to give it up for Dan Soder. He's my second cousin once removed. Uh, we worked at a Chili's together, got herpes in the bathroom. <laughs> Supply and demand... That's what Dan would always, that was the joke he would say. Red Band, why'd you tell me to say that one? I'm Dale! Dale! Daylight, come and me one go hope. Dude, shut the fuck up. Uh, but seriously, first and foremost, I'd like to give a moment of silence to my brother, J.C. Penny. He was recently diagnosed with hoof and mouth disease. Uh, I would like to first and foremost thank Richard and Stephen Jarmones of uh, the Fantastic Sam's in Memphis, Tennessee. They not only gave me Hell of a haircut, but also hell of a life lesson. Uh, there will always be a bomb in the bomb maker's home. They're big fans of the movie Speed. Uh, 
I'm a big fan of the Power Rangers, only when they don't have their costumes on. What are those people? Filipino? They look Asian, but they have Hispanic names. I don't get it. So people always say the book is better than the movie, but how many of y'all have ever read Mortal Kombat? <laughs> y'all are going to love this next one. If I were a cartel leader, I'd approach the owners of Instagram and say, hey, we'd like to buy your app. We're going to take it in a different direction. We work for Bennigan's. What do you mean there's no more ham? It's my, uh, it's my impression of my dad when we went to Hawaii. <laughs> and we were on an island with no more ham. What a nightmare. Uh, so I'm setting up an escape room in my apartment. I'm charging people $1,000 a month. Uh, 500 if they sleep in the same bed with me. Three years ago, I was fired from my job at a security camera factory. They said, I stole something. I said, prove it. Uh, first and foremost, if y'all don't laugh tonight, I'm going to have to throw a red band off a balcony. <laughs> so I've been a real germaphobe ever since I got HIV. <laughs> uh, this is a guy who's stuck on an elevator at the moment he realizes he's stuck. Um, Hold on, are we fucking stuck? <laughs> I went to jail in Monopoly, and there were black guys uh, who had been in there since the first chance card. Uh, yes, I'd like to order a t-shirt, Cannon, please. Uh, that's an impression of me at the gun store. If cocaine were an astrological sign, it would be, where's the fucking cocaine? <laughs> we're going to love this next one. Uh, what did Rick Moranis tell his wife after he joined ISIS? Um, Honey, I blew up the kids. <laughs> I wish Axl Rose would marry Bella Thorne so at least one rose would have a thorn. <laughs> uh, Y'all are in for a treat with this next joke. I wrote a book about an eight-legged horse. It took me uh, three years to write. We're going through the public publishing process, and at the end, they're like, what's the name of the book? And I'm like, I don't know. Who do I look like? Stephen fucking King? <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I'm have, uh, having trouble sleeping these days, so I downloaded a white noise app, and it just ended up being the Th Seinfeld theme song. Uh, uh, it's weird how nobody's questioned Batman about this whole coronavirus thing. I saw the movie Poltergeist recently, and I can sure as hell tell you one thing. If I'm elected county alderman, we're going to be making sure none of our subdivisions in this community are built on top of Indian burial grounds. I'm sick and tired of coming back to my home at night just wondering for hours before I walk inside if I'm the one that turned that light on. Uh, I usually like to leave a pube on the toilet when I use a public restroom, just something I was brought up doing. That was probably my best joke, that last one. It's That's true. There he is, William Montgomery. Uh, I banged my girlfriend so hard last night I gave her moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Joe Biden's so old he can't remember where he buried those kids' bodies. 
<laughs> Paul Walker, more like Paul Crasher. I heard the reason Paul Walker crashed was because the director forgot to say cut. Uh, say what you will about Scientologists, but goddamn, can they act? Best damn actors in all the pyramid scheme religion industry. I'm not joining. I'm a Christian. Uh, newsflash, Sting defunded the police years ago. Uh, dude, why do you have a giant collection of feet? That is my impression of me walking into a footlocker. Uh, Please direct me to the nearest Foot Locker. That is my impression of a cannibal walking into a shopping mall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for William Montgomery. Please stop. <laughs> hey, cheers, y'all. Uh, please take a seat. Uh, what's up? I was metal detected earlier. Um, the Dixie Chicks. What about my toe and shit? <laughs> uh, a lot of people wanna wanna shit on Chris Delia, but that's not his fetish. Uh, did anyone else think the Granny and Mrs. Doubtfire looked like Robin Williams? Uh, all it takes is a tongue to make the peace sign vulgar. That's a pussy joke. Uh, Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish is now single. That's way better news than if I told you Darius Rucker released a new single. Wait, is this fucking Pizza Hut or Domino's? Uh, that's what I like to say when I call it Papa John's. <laughs> Uh, this is me working at Disney World. Uh, check out the castle over there. I was over at Red Band's place the other night, and Red Band, I got a question to ask you. Who designed the glory hole in your bathroom? I was able to see uh, Red Band's uh, oriental wife suck his dick. It was wonderful. Um I miss the old weather channel. Show me some lo-fi graphics accompanied by elevator jazz. Now you've got world's strangest weather and shit as programming. Bitch, I got YouTube. Uh, people ask me if there's anything I regret doing during this COVID quarantine. The only thing that comes to mind is that I really wish I hadn't eaten that bat. Get a load of the set. This is probably going to be one of my best sets. Um, I was watching American Pie 2 the other day, and apparently there's a deleted scene where they all get AIDS. Uh, Australian hipsters be like, I miss the old Zealand. Uh Hey, Red Man, if you're going to be the best man in my wedding, you're going to have to start believing in Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I do appreciate that this is the first time I think all of us have seen William do a set completely sober. That is impressive. Yeah. Damn, this is the first time. Wow. And what's, what, what, I don't what's, know. What's I just changed feel... in your life this week? I don't know. I just think it dawned on me that I probably... Uh, will die soon. Yeah, what made you what made you think that? Do you see something in your pee pee or No, poo -poo? just generally speaking, I started having premonitions of my death. What? Yeah, seriously, I started thinking <laughs> what did, I'll probably what, die what soon. What type of premonitions did you have? Describe them a little bit more toward for us. I don't know. I just pictured myself uh... cuz we've been having premonitions about your death for years <laughs> yeah. now, for like so, a year. Yeah. yeah, no, it just sort of hit me. So we'll uh We'll see. Hopefully, maybe I can stay strong. Uh, apparently, my former youth pastor is missing, and I ain't snitching. <laughs>
I'm at the point where I just hope my son turns out either gay or straight. Uh, what's the name of that band that played that song you hear when you accidentally call a fax number? <laughs> no, really, what's that band's name? Uh, research shows more kids are being homeschooled this year rather than being enrolled in public and private schools. This is not good news, according to the nation's school shooters. Uh, everybody always says, don't mess with cockroaches. They're carry diseases. But who's ever gotten sick from cockroaches? Hey, you hear about Anthony? He has cancer. Shit from smoking? Nah, a cockroach touched his leg when he was chasing it around his bathroom. He has six months left to live. I'm not suggesting we keep them as pets, but let's not pretend there's some pharmaceutical uh, company out there trying to find the cure for roach flu. I said that kind of weird. Uh, we let dogs sleep in the bed with us uh, while, while both of us are naked, and yet a roach crawls around the kitchen cabinet, and we contemplate starting a gender reveal fireworks party. Uh, you don't think the family dog rolled around in the same shit as the roach? There's a lot more. Um, dogs and roaches are practically the same. It's just dogs have better lobbyists. Uh, dogs have Sarah McLaughlin singing in every commercial. Roaches have a spray. Uh, every roach commercial. <laughs> Should keep, I finish it? Keep going, absolutely. I'll, I'll listen to an hour on roaches. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> every roach commercial starts out the same. A fat cigar-smoking roach plotting with his other fat roach friends about how they can ruin the value of your home. Then some white man in a cape shows up with the most toxic chemical known to man and just ices the hell out of those degenerate moochers. Uh, meanwhile, roaches are supposed to be the oldest insects known to man or some bullshit. Hell, that's probably made up too by the same people claiming that dogs can tell when humans have a horrible disease. I swear the day a dog walks up to me and says, sorry buddy, you've got MS. I'm gonna call bullshit because next he's gonna blame it on a roach. Wow, there he goes, William Montgomery. Uh, I wish they'd attach an iPad to a shake weight so we could form a tight-knit community. Um, I'm kind of jealous of Peloton, of people riding their bikes in their living room, cheering each other on. Meanwhile, I'm in the basement with a shake weight looking like I'm training for the dice rolling Olympics. Uh, the best part about a shake weight is that you lose 12 pounds in one square inch of your body and you have the fucking most ripped muscle inside of your right elbow. Meanwhile, the left elbow looks like Danny DeVito at a nudist resort. Uh, I used to be the town's chief meteorologist, but then they fired me for saying stuff like 65% chance of rain if you don't convert to Christianity. I messed that up a little bit. Uh, Memphis is known for their barbecue, lots of barbecue places. My mom asked me if I wanted to try this new Korean barbecue place, and I told her I prefer Gangnam style. <laughs> My girlfriend ovulating so hard, she barking. Eh! I didn't know how to end that. What? That's it. That's she what? Got. What did she She's do? She's ovulating so hard. That she what? She barking. She barking. Like a dog. I think you should, I think you should say that part. Barking like a dog? Yeah. Uh, you know the craziest part about Elliot Smith's uh, suicide? Uh, Courtney Love did it. That's a good joke. I don't know how many people get that, but if you get that, that's a hell of a joke. Um, my parents' minivan is not where I lost my virginity, uh, but if you could help me find it. Tony spends more time in a sand trap than a Saudi drug dealer. That's a golf joke. Not fair, not fair. <laughs> that's all I got. Tony almost made his first hole in one this weekend, but the windmill knocked it out of the way. <laughs> uh, uh, every night I lay in bed staring at the ceiling, hoping, hoping that the Miss Piggy poster doesn't fall on me. Uh, you know that stuff that they throw into the fire at the beginning of every episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, yeah, I can get you an ounce for 120. <laughs>
Uh, I wish they'd have to rename Sesame Street because it got gentrified and the unemployed puppets had to move. Uh, if I had my own touchdown dance, I'd act like I heard a ticking noise inside of the ball and then start freaking out and telling everyone there's a bomb inside of the ball and then run up into the stands and into the press box and say over the PA that there's a bomb inside of the football and the referees refuse to stop the game and then I tell my family I love them and then I died playing the game that I loved. <laughs> uh, for Christmas this year, I'm going as Santa Claus. Man, these jokes aren't working. Uh, <laughs> can I do my other, my two last Santa jokes? Yeah, absolutely. Go right ahead. Uh, if I was a millionaire and I could live wherever I wanted, I'd probably live at the North Pole with Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, say what you will about Santa Claus, uh, but he's not Muslim. <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, I'm still waiting for MTV to release the show Teen Dad. What about us? You think it's easy staying with the mom until the baby turns nine months? The Miami Marlins are so bad at baseball, they started using their stadium as a makeshift more during COVID, and the bodies came back to life just to avoid the off chance they might have to witness batting practice. <laughs> Tiger Woods is so bad at driving, he ended up in the hospital trap. I just joined a rock band and it's called Rock Band. I only have one controller and you have to watch me play. You know you're bad at golf when you play with Tiger and the next day he decides to drive off a cliff. That's a David Spade joke. The man has been playing golf since he was two and then one day plays with David Spade and then wants to give it all up. Makes you wonder if he played golf with Chris Farley the day before he died. I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans and fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. <laughs> let, me, let me do that one more time and y'all say only fans at the end of it. <laughs> I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans and fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. Fans. Oh my God. Oh, I ain't getting on that damn boat. That's an impression of a movie I'm working on about the only black lady on the Titanic. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't getting on that damn boat. <laughs>